Sim and Tim. Sim Tim TV. The night sky was decorated with the moon and stars. On the earth, some sat up and admired the moon. The moon felt proud. Hmm, look! All the people on the earth admiring me. The moon is swollen with pride. Hmm, what use is it to the moon to be so proud if it cannot defeat the sun in the competition for the kingship of the sky? The moon was very upset to hear this. He kept thinking of how he will defeat the sun and become the king of the sky. Finally, the moon struck upon an idea. In the morning, he went to meet the sun. I have come to tell you that from now I will be working with you during the day. And why is that? I want to compete with you to be the king of the sky. The stars say that you are better than me. Hm. I want to prove to them that it is not true. But how will we find that out? Hmm. Mm, let us tell each other about ourselves and our qualities to decide who is better and more qualified to be the king. You begin. The sun agrees to the suggestion. I am a huge, very hot ball that gives light and heat. I am made of hot gases. I am the center of the solar system. All the eight planets revolve around me on a fixed path called orbit. <laughs> I don't believe you. I can show you. Look at all the planets revolving around me. So, do you believe that I am the center of the solar system? I may not be the center of the solar system, but I am the Earth's only satellite. My friend Moon, I am a shining star. I am near to Earth. My heat and light make Earth a living planet. I give you light too. But I am nearer to the Earth, even more than you. So, I am the Earth's nearest neighbor. Hmm, and there is another thing. People called astronauts who travel into space visit me. The first man to land on my surface was Neil Armstrong. He told everybody when he went back to Earth about my planes and mountains. Many astronauts have come on me since then. People want to even live on my surface. But they cannot because moon, you do not have any air or water that people need to live. Why? At least they have visited me. No one can visit you. You are so hot and made of gases, not rock like me. Hey, tell me. You said before that I do not have my own light. Then how do I shine? People admire my moonlight at night, you know. You actually shine because you reflect my light. And that reflected light reaches the earth. I don't believe you. Show me. Okay, I can see you give me light. Thanks. Oh, but still I am special, son. You cannot change your shape, but I can. But you don't actually change shape too. You only seem to change shape, Moon, when my light falls on you. So sometimes you are a circle. At other times you are arc-shaped like a banana. Look at them! Fighting! They have completely forgotten us. Hey Moon! Sun! Aren't we great too? Look at us! We twinkle in the night sky. 
We are so many in number that you cannot even count us. We are also hot balls of gases and have our own light, sun. In fact, sun, you are also a star, aren't you? So you are one of us. And moon, people admire us twinkling in the night sky as much as they admire you. What is more, we can do a special thing too. We form large clusters and pretty shapes called constellations. Show us! Moon, I think we should not quarrel. Daytime is a period of my duty time. You and the stars do your duty during the night. You are right. You are the king of the sky at day. And you are the king of the sky at night.